We want to graph this quadratic function. Remember, its graph will be a parabola, so let's find the vertex, y-intercept, and x-intercepts, if any. To find the vertex, let's use the fact that the x value of the vertex is negative b over 2a. We use that formula. So that's negative, b is the coefficient of x, which is negative 8, over 2 times a is the coefficient of x squared. And what is negative a negative 8 over 4? That's 8 over 4, which is 2. So the x value of the vertex is 2. Now, how do you find the corresponding y value of the vertex? Remember, it's got to be an ordered pair solution of this function, so we simply find f of 2. That's 2 times 2 squared minus 8 times 2 plus 9. If you find f of 2, you'll find it is 1. So the vertex has coordinates 2, 1. Now, how do you find the y-intercept? You let x be 0, so to find the y-intercept, we're finding f of 0, which is 2 times 0 squared minus 8 times 0 plus 9. It is 9, so when x is 0, y is 9. That is our y-intercept. Now, think a moment always before looking for x-intercepts. Notice your vertex has coordinates 2, 1, so somewhere in the first quadrant. Notice this parabola is opening upward because the coefficient of x squared is positive. Because it's opening upward, you will have no x-intercepts. So under x-intercepts, I'll write none. By the way, what happens, you may ask, if you let y be 0 and you solve this, you would have some type of complex number solutions, certainly not on our number line. Let's graph our parabola, vertex at 2, 1, y-intercept 0, 3, 6, 9. And remember symmetry. You went over 2 and up 9 from the uh, vertex. So if you go over to the other way and up 9, or you can certainly plot more ordered pairs using your equation. And now let's draw the parabola shape. This is the graph of our given function.